I was only one side going to stop. No! Oh, I did oh get a kill. Nice. We're just steamrolled in these. <laughs> this is such like an uneven game. Fucking hell. Oh! Okay. How can I get that kill? Hey YouTube, finally it's here, I've done it, it's the attacking version of my map mastering video for Coastline on Rainbow Six Siege. At the time of making this video, the highest ranking that I've been in Rainbow Six Siege is a Platinum 2, and in this video I'm going to show you some of the tips and tricks that I've used on Coastline to help me get to that ranking. If you missed out on the defending version of map mastery for Coastline, then it's linked up in the top right hand corner of your screen right now. Go and check it out, either now or when you finish the video, it will still be there just waiting for you to watch. By all means, go and see that as well. If you've got any tips that you want to share with other people watching this video then please 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 feel free to put them in the comments down below and drop your feedback there. Also while you're at it if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and get your notifications to make sure you don't miss out on future map mastery videos or anything else that I happen to put up on the channel. With that out of the way let's get on with the tips and tricks for attacking on coastline. Siege at its best is all about destruction and vertical play, so let's take a look at vertical attacks. Down in the sunrise bar, if we get buck, we can shoot up through the ceiling, all the way here, and that gets us a view up onto the window of hookah. Quite often people might be uh, anchoring behind there, so you could uh, get an easy kill that way. Also allows you to watch a plant. And then if we open up the ceiling on the other side of sunrise there, that gives you a view right up uh, to the wall at the back of hookah where you'll often have a rotation hold or people anchoring there. Next we move into the first floor office and we take out the ceiling just there and that gives you a good spot onto anyone who'll be camping in that corner looking out of the window watching the balcony and then just over here by the hatch you could open the hatch as well um, but here just by the hatch you'll often have someone sitting behind the sofa so you can get an easy pick right there. And then if there's anyone camping out behind the bar in aquarium just come to this position, shoot up through the floor, and you got yourself a kill. We'll just move back slightly into blue bar, and if we shoot the ceiling out just by the window, we get to just under the double window in the billiards room. Not a fantastic spot, but again, there'll often be people rotating around that area, so it's just another way to attack them. And also, if you've got anyone sitting at the back there behind the bar on the second floor of uh, billiards, that spot there will get them. Here is one of the key spots on coastline. If you've got a mirror window right there, looking out watching penthouse, just come underneath there, shoot right there, and you can take out the mirror window and possibly even mirror sitting on it. As we move into the service entrance and break the ceiling here, this gives you a view up behind the bed in penthouse. Handy to take out bandit batteries or to shift any anchors that are sitting there behind the bed. And then as we move over to this wall, we can open up the floor by the double window. This will allow you to take out any ADSs, anyone who's camping there, um, and just also allow you to watch a plant. If you rappel into the penthouse, plant right there, that allows you to watch it from below. And then opening the ceiling up right here allows you to see the very back of the theater and take out anyone who might be anchoring at the back there, holding the long angle down into penthouse and hall of fame. Move into kitchen, we open up here right by the window and this will allow you to get a peek onto anyone who is camping out in that corner watching the DJ booth VIP window. We come just over here and this allows you to see up behind the bookshelves and the vases to take out anyone who is camping out there. Now we move on to above, we'll use sledge for this one and if we start breaking holes here in the VIP lounge we can see the rotations or the mirror windows that will be there typically on a kitchen hold. If we open up here behind the bookshelf, as we saw just a moment ago, this will take you down to the kitchen doorway, allowing you to cut off rotations there if you have done a plant in kitchen, for example. Next, we move into penthouse. A lot of this will be the reverse of what we've already seen, but if we open up the floor here in penthouse, this allows you to get a view down into the kitchen. And if we open up the floor in penthouse right here, this allows you to see down into the toilets. And then flipping over what we saw earlier, up into penthouse behind the bed, we open up the floor here. That allows you to see the rotation hold down by the bomb if anyone is doing a kitchen and service entrance hold. And then over here in hookah, right there by the window, allows you to take out anyone who is behind the bar. And over here will allow you to take out a mirror window or anyone rotating through from sunrise into blue bar for a sunrise and blue bar hold. 
If we open the floor right here by the hookah door, this allows us to get another viewpoint on the couches and the rotation from sunrise into blue bar. If you come to billiards, open up the floors here. You can again watch the rotation or anyone who is camping out by the blue bar door. Very common spot, particularly if you're playing secure area. Over here behind the billiards room bar, we just open up the floor and that allows you to get a peek onto anyone who is camping out behind the bar. And finally in billiards, up here in the corner, we just open up the floor and that allows you to see anyone who is camping down in the office. Every now and then you might find Cavera there. And finally, as we move into the aquarium, just here in the corner behind the bar, this allows you to again watch the rotation uh, from security into the office. And again, just here by this doorway, this will allow you to view the rotation from security into office from another viewpoint. Let's take a look at some tricky angles. Now, there are a few on coastline. These ones may not be a big surprise to you, but you can rappel up the side of this building here, take out the penthouse window. Quite often you might catch someone running through there. You've got to have quick reactions if you want to catch them, but um, it is possible there to get uh, one or two kills. So let's take a quick look in the penthouse, see where those shots landed. There they are on the wall there, so it's a good, uh, it's a good position to catch some rotations through there. As we move along the building, we can then open up this doorway that leads into the Hall of Fame. And this gives you an angle all the way to the back at the bookshelf. As we can see there, that's the bookshelf. We'll take a few shots and we'll see where those land. They land there on the door frame and you can also land a fair few bullets over here into the bookshelves. I've had a few kills that way. It is a really handy spot. Now from the roof we can jump up to here. Every now and then you'll find someone trying to do a cheeky peek onto the balcony. If you are doing a push into aquarium from the balcony it might be good to have someone up here just covering the flank there to make sure that no one shoots your team through the window. Now we're going to open up some big buck holes here just to sort of show the point but if you can set up a hole just right you can see all the way from here at the back of theatre all the way down to the window in the DJ booth and VIP lounge and vice versa obviously the angle works both ways so you don't want to open up huge holes like I have done here just one peak hole will do if you've got an ACOG operator. As we come up onto the roof here I've made another buck hole where you can see all the way down into the bookshelf so if you don't want to take someone out on the bookshelf from the glass spot that I showed earlier you can do it also from there with some cheeky wall banks. Again from the roof we can see all the way down into the corner of the billiards room Often there'll be a rotation there between billiards and hookah, so that's a good spot to take people out as they rotate through there. As we come to the back here of the service entrance, you can actually shoot all the way back to the shelving unit in the kitchen. Quite often there'll be a rotation hole there if the objective is the kitchen and service entrance. It could be a risky spot in that situation, and the bomb is kind of in the way, but still it's a useful spot. If we stand outside the sunrise doorway, we can actually shoot all the way here with an ACOG back down to the very corner of the wall here by the blue bar. Very useful again to stop rotations. Blue bar you can just come up here open up a very small hole and catch someone rotating around from the security office to the kitchen or vice versa. From here in the office you can shoot all the way through to the sunrise bar, very useful. And again up here from outside the hookah window you can shoot all the way down through to the aquarium. Often you'll have someone by the double window in billiards peeking out onto the balcony and also you'll very often have someone behind the sofa in aquarium so that's a good spot to have. Another handy spot here is to open up the floor of hookah and this will get you an angle down into the bar of sunrise. As we get up onto the roof, very situational this one, but if you lay down at the hatch, you can actually shoot down through the wall just into the VIP lounge. Very common rotation. You might get spotted up there by someone running through from VIP lounge, but in the heat of the moment, that's the kind of position that you could get away with. And then finally, we probably all know this one. If this wall's reinforced, you just get Maverick, but you just open up a small hole here in the wall and you can shoot all the way down through the theater into penthouse and to hall of fame. Let's take a look at one of my favorite sections. As always, it is cheeky claymores. So these claymores aren't gonna be so cheeky, just more useful. First thing you wanna do, put one outside the service entrance of kitchen. 
and this keeps you covered when you're attacking the penthouse window. Next, you also might want to get one outside the lobby doorway or the main entrance doorway because that will protect you from the run out from there, which is becoming a lot more common to get that run out. It's a bit more difficult to cover with a claymore, but it doesn't hurt to have one there. Now, this one is more of a cheeky claymore. Just stick it down here by the counter. And then what can happen is if a defender is rotating around, they will vault over the counter into the claymore and you'll get a free kill. Another one here is to get one outside of the sunrise doorway, which leads to the stairs up to the hookah balcony. This is a good one just to protect you if you're up on the balcony, just to stop those runouts. And then you might want to get one on the window on the other side as well. And this can help you if you're rappelling up onto the hookah window or if you are at kitchen window. Another one you might want to try is just sticking one down here in sunrise bar very difficult to see the lasers if you're not looking for them they kind of blend into the carpet a little bit mostly when people rotate into here they're not going to be expecting that there so that's a nice one to place down another nice one is right here on the other side of this half wall defenders will often rotate through here and they just will not see the lasers there so if they jump over that and land in the claymore again another free kill very similar to that one we have one up here on the balcony outside of the south hallway half wall not quite as useful this one, but maybe worth a try. If you are attacking blue bar and there's someone settled in behind the bar there, you could put a claymore down here so that as they're not paying attention and they're watching the window, they can reverse back into it and you'll get a kill or a down that way. Another one here is a common rotation through the security room. Just stick it here behind this little desk. And as defenders come through, they might be aiming down sights or just not really paying too much attention. And it's quite easy to miss those lasers that get caught out. Another one here is underneath the penthouse window. And this will prevent the jump out if you're attacking the service entrance to do a kitchen take. If a defender's up here and they decide to run out and try and get you, they'll just land in that laser. Boom, dead. If someone is settled in here on top of the hatch in penthouse, just stick a claymore down there and they'll likely reverse into it and um, get taken out. It's not common that people sit here, but they might come in here to try and take out someone who's sitting on the building on the opposite side there. So it can be worth a try. Again, another situational one here is to put one in this drone hole and if anyone is anchoring down here in the VIP lounge, you can catch them unaware and take them out. Next up, again, very similar. Just put one here in the billiards room and this will get the lasers behind bar and aquarium. So if anyone comes in here or is hiding here, you'll take them out. Here is kind of a very default plant for hookah and also very common for someone to rotate in here to try and hold some angles and, and protect the billiards room. So it's worth putting one there just to catch out anyone unsuspecting. Another common rotation here, coming out the south hallway into 90. Just put one there and you'll take them out. This is a claymore that is very, very worth doing, especially if you are doing a penthouse take from VIP lounge. Put one in here, thermite the wall as you go through the wall and plant. Quite often people will rotate through from this hallway into VIP lounge to try and retake. You'll always catch them with that because they'll be far too busy to notice it. And then finally, a very useful one here is outside the Hall of Fame door. And this will stop the run out if you're on the VIP lounge window or if anyone just fancies running out to try and take you out as you're on the balcony looking over into hookah. Let's take a look at some drone spots that you can set up to help your game. The first one we'll take a look at is in the kitchen. And if you can get your drone up here onto the microwave, you can then get it up onto the top of the shelving unit and get a good view of pretty much the whole kitchen here. Now, this drone can be fairly easy to spot. It's not well hidden. As you can see up there, it doesn't really blend in with the ceiling in any way. What can be a nicer drone spot in here is to get your drone up onto these boxes and then just make your way up onto the top of this shelving unit in the corner. And then you'll find that you've got a good view of the rotation hole and the doorway from toilets or the main entrance into kitchen. And the drone's actually pretty well hidden up there. It blends in with the wall behind it. And uh, it's just a nice little one that is very difficult to spot. Now another one here which isn't very well hidden in any way as such but it's one where people won't often look. If you're attacking kitchen or service entrance then probably don't use this one but if you just want to uh, attack somewhere else on the map and watch your rotations then that's a nice little spot just to keep an eye on the kitchen rotation. Next move onto the roof, very basic, just get your drone up here onto the ledge and you can get a good view of the VIP lounge doorway and the second floor hallway on the south side of the map.
As we move into security, this is quite a common rotation area. We'll get a drone up onto the shelves, then up onto the server rack, and that gives you a view of that rotation. Next up in the blue bar, we take our drone, we get it up onto the bar itself, and then we can just stick the drone into the wine rack. And that gives you, again, a nice view of the blue bar rotation out into the hallway. It's easy to spot if someone's coming through from the hallway into blue bar, but if they're going the other way, they're not gonna spot it. Another one here is in sunrise. We just get our drone up onto the shelves here. You can get the drone up to the top, as we see there, and that gives you a view of pretty much the whole sunrise bar. Another spot in sunrise is just to take the drone and put it under this little trolley right here, and that gives you a view all the way down through sunrise into the kitchen, and will allow you to see anyone that's going that way. That's an easy one to spot if they're coming into sunrise, but if they're in sunrise already, not so easy to spot. This is a really common spot to put drones under here, so not the best idea, but it does give you a good view of hookah and the rotation through the hallway. Another option here is just to get the drone up onto the shelf behind the plates and that will give you a good view of the hookah lounge. Next up as we move into billiards we can get our drone up onto this shelf which has got all the alcohol on it. Just stick it behind the uh, behind the wine bottles and it's pretty difficult to spot there. Not many people are going to really spot that unless you're on it blinking the lights away and, and spotting people. Um, the chances of it getting found there fairly slim. Next up in the theatre we get our drone just into the very bottom most shelf under this bottle and that gives you a view of theatre and down a fair bit into penthouse. It gives you a, a bit of a view into penthouse and you'll see people rotating through there. Next we go into the VIP lounge. We get a drone up onto the shelving unit here and then just move it up onto this next level and that will give you a view of the wall as you breach into the penthouse. An alternative here is to get the drone up onto the shelving unit just behind the uh, box of tissues <laughs> and you, you can see people rotating through there. It's a fairly common spot, a lot of people might spot it but um, in the heat of battle it can be a good one there to have just to keep an eye on your flank. If you're pushing in through the VIP lounge and the Hall of Fame and you've got a dead teammate it can be good to just have that there to watch your back. If we get a drone up onto the balcony here, we can then move it along this wall and get it into the corner of the courtyard. And that gives us a good view of the rotation down towards kitchen there and the courtyard itself, which is quite a common space for a defender to hang around every now and then. Let's take a quick look at default cams. Unlike maps like Bank and Chalet, there aren't loads of really cool ways to take out cams here. So let's just have a quick look at where they are just to make sure that you're aware in case you're new to the game and don't really know. So the first one here is from the main entrance just up under that building. Then as we run along the map past Kitchen, you'll find that there is another camera just up there. Then as we come around towards the ruins, there's another camera just in the corner of ruins right there. And those are all the external cameras. Next, let's just move inside and take a look at the internal cameras. Firstly, just outside blue bar in the corner, there is a default cam there. And then as we run around through the courtyard and into the front entrance or the main lobby, there is one here just by the stairs. And that's it for the bottom floor. As we move upstairs, there is one in the corner of the second floor hallway, or 90 as it might be called. And then as you run around, there is just one more cam left on the second floor, which you'll find in an aquarium up in the southwest corner. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you're still here, I can only assume that you've liked it and found it useful to some degree. If you have, then please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, get those notifications so that you don't miss any further videos that I put out in the Map for Mastery series or just any other videos that I happen to put up on the channel. Don't forget, if you've got any tips that you want to share with viewers yourself, then please, please just put them in the comments. Any help that we can give to the community is greatly appreciated. Thanks again for watching and there'll be more coming your way real soon.